2016 was one of the warmest years on record for the Caribbean region. Among the growing climate and weather-related anomalies, the region also experienced the highest hurricane activity between 2005 to 2008, as well as the highest rise in sea surface temperatures and widespread severe drought from 2009 to 2011. These are just a few of the consequences of the climate change in the past decade and have cost the Caribbean millions in losses and damage and even in lives. Today, the region remains vulnerable, so a new campaign, Feel the Change, is being implemented across eight Caribbean nations, including Belize. Studies have shown that for, for the wider Caribbean, coal reefs provide between 3.1 and 4.6 billion US dollars per year in goods and services. Given the importance of the region's natural resources, the protection and management of these resources from climate change and human impacts is a pressing issue. Rising sea levels, rising sea surface temperatures, increasing drought and flooding events, changing rainfall patterns, increase in frequency and intensity of hurricanes, therefore pose a serious threat to lives and livelihoods, especially to the most vulnerable and poorest among us. The campaign seeks to highlight how the climate is changing and encourages communities to address climate change. This was necessary because a COP study carried out in Belize showed that there was limited knowledge of climate change among communities. As we seek to promote greater awareness by sharing knowledge, we hope to engender concrete actions from and in communities across this country through environmental protection. We also hope to have a society that is well informed and proactive about climate change. Each one of us as individuals and families can take action and be a part of the change. Communities were encouraged to be appreciative of the fact that personal actions such as conserving our forests and mangroves, conserving electricity to minimize fossil fuel usage, reducing waste by using, re, re, reducing waste by using reusable products instead of disposable ones are all a part of the things that we can participate in. The conversation of climate change has almost always included resiliency and today specialist Keith Nichols explains why we cannot achieve it but we must still work towards it. And one of the things we always speak about is building resilience and we always know that we would never achieve resilience. That goalpost is always shifting as we deal with the impacts of climate change and climate variability. That goalpost is somewhere the distance. No matter what we do today, we're always adjusting to changing conditions. We never achieve resilience, but we need to work towards it. As a part of the awareness, the Japan Caribbean Climate Change Partnership is hosting a two day training with journalists from the eight participating Caribbean countries. Journalists were tasked with making climate change an engaging conversation in the news and media. One of the very important links, as you all would know, is um, making that science intelligible and, and um, relevant for our, uh, our fellow citizens, for everyone. So that's really the important work that you're doing in this workshop. Um, and I think that's a very uh, critical task for enabling all of us to really deal with um, climate change. Where's the discussion following those kind of events on the impacts of climate change and climate variability on our lives and what we need to do to prevent those types of recurrences? We blame climate change for everything and that's a problem. We exacerbate the impacts of climate change and climate variability. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.